just started raining out of nowhere, so uh, I don't know what condition these roads are going to be in back here. I was here three months ago, and there were a lot of potholes, which means there could be a lot of puddles, <laughs> which is not good. But we got our fingers crossed. We're going to see what we find. So far, so good. God, that's beautiful. Holy cow. Can you guys see that? So excited. Woo! Mountain living, baby. Ooh. Okay, we made it. Yeah! Woo! Home sweet home. We last left off in Southern California, where we finished up the van build. And after that, I headed north to Washington State. Washington is the last place I lived before moving onto the road. And it's the place I technically call home. Even though I don't have an actual house or apartment or a place to stay, driving through the Cascades feels like driving up my own driveway. And I can't help but gravitate toward familiar trails and favorite places. But this time, I felt strangely disconnected. Like I was wandering down a hallway of old memories, rather than pushing myself to grow. And so, two weeks later, I found myself on the road again this time headed east.
This is a mountain I've camped on many times before. In fact, it's one of the places I camped in on my first extended trip in my old SUV, before I moved onto the road and was still living in Monterey, California. I set out on a five-week road trip through Utah, Wyoming, Montana, and Canada with nothing but the absolute basics. Every night, I rearranged the back of my Xterra into a sleeping zone with a blow-up camping mattress wedged diagonally up against the driver's seat. My sleeping bag and flannels and jackets hung across my windows with the sleeves tied together to form a kind of curtain to block the morning light. I remember thinking to myself so many times during that trip, this is living. Like waking up every day someplace new, not knowing what to expect, not knowing who I'll meet or where the day will lead. Something deep inside just knew it was the life for me. Being here reminded me of the days where I felt uncomfortable, unsure, and yet so excited. Like the time I jumped tandem out of an airplane, there was this moment where I had already let go of the door frame and hung helplessly from a chest strap 10,000 feet above the ground, just waiting for my instructor to let go. It was a moment of complete and total surrender, not yet falling, but unable to turn back. I felt at the very edge of life, steeped in fear, but choosing to push through. I felt that here, on this mountain, during that first road trip. I felt it when I left my hometown in the Midwest to live in Hawaii, with almost nothing to my name, before I moved overseas to Italy, and again before I moved onto the road. And I can feel it now. The seasons are changing. And so am I. This is the third campsite I found up here on this mountain. It's the best one so far. Go ahead and save the spot. Woo! Yeehaw! I'm gonna try to back in over here and wait for those people down there to leave. Did you get me peeing over there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good call. <laughs>
Such a good job. Oh wait, this kind of counts as a shower, doesn't it? Ooh, I gotta take advantage. If I could tell 28-year-old me that one day she'd be back in the same place, but with an entirely different life and so many new and wild possibilities, I wonder if she would believe me. And if future me could tell current me what life would be like 10 years from now, would I even want to know? Would you want to know? Honestly, I don't think I would. Living on the road, and also just life in general, has taught me that there's so much beauty in simply not knowing. Look at this meal Quinn just made. <laughs> Looks so good. And this view. Woo! Teton view. The smell right now is making me want to have an oven in my van. You don't have an oven? <laughs> what do you do every night? <laughs> Cry. One million. Yes. What is the name of this game? Monopoly deal. I like it. <laughs> because you're winning. <laughs> yeah, look how much properties you have. Yep. Prepare to lose. Beginner's luck for sure. <laughs> Last night, a mouse got into the van at 3 in the morning and got it out but today i was working at my computer and i looked over to my right and there was another mouse sticking its head out from up here and haven't gotten that one out yet 